Hello there, and welcome to another episode on Peter Herman Adventures. This is once again a current events segment. I was up here three or four weeks ago reporting on a bank collapse into the Chilliwack Vetter River. And um, today is, what is it, February 27th. So yesterday on February 26th, around 10 in the morning or so, uh, there was another major slide that happened um, just downstream from the Chilliwack River fish hatchery. And this one was a big one. Um, I don't know if my wide angle footage from a GoPro will really do it justice, but there are three or 400 yards of material that have just swept down into the river. And um, the word dramatic keeps coming to my mind. I, it, like, it really is when you see it in person. I'm gonna pan around a little bit. So you can see it's, it's really a huge swath of material. This bank has been collapsing little by little over many years, but right now it has given way in a, in a dramatic fashion and slid down into the river. I think we're really quite lucky that we didn't lose any anglers in this event. On a weekend, this tends to be a, a fairly busy spot on the river. And so on a Saturday morning, I'm sure there were a couple of people fishing in this area. Well, that about wraps it up. If you have any interest in this subject, just come have a look at it in person. It's really quite something to see. And um, I think this will continue to have an impact on our fisheries in the near future. It's going to take many weeks for a bunch of this material to wash away and erode into the river. And um, it's not great for salmon eggs that are trying to live in the gravel and get enough oxygen. Some of this silt will fill in the cracks in the gravel and have a negative impact on our salmon stocks. And there are lots of steelhead working their way up the river right now who are going to have a harder time breathing and seeing and navigating their way up the river. Uh, today the clarity is not too bad. Actually downstream around better crossing there's about a foot of visibility in the water but um, i think the next time it rains and the next time the river comes up a little bit uh, the water clarity will really be affected and I, I think for some long time to come you can see the river is hitting all this clay and that's going to take months if not years to wash away 